we welcome you all here. Ms. Samuelson is president of the Parkinson's Action Network. Mr. Fox, we're going to start with you. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, members of the subcommittee, excuse me, pull the mic down. Story of my life. The mic is always too high. I had hidden my symptoms and struggles very well through increasing amounts of medication, through surgery, and by employing the hundreds of little tricks and techniques a person with Parkinson's learns to mask his or her condition for as long as possible. While the changes in my life were profound and progressive, I kept them to myself for a number of reasons. Fear, denial for sure. But I also felt that it was important for me to quietly just soldier on. When I did share my story, the response was overwhelming, humbling, and deeply inspiring. I heard from thousands of Americans affected by Parkinson's, writing and calling to offer encouragement and to tell me of their experience. They spoke of pain, frustration, fear, and hope. Always hope. What I understood very clearly is that the time for quietly soldiering on is through. The war against Parkinson's is a winnable war, and I have resolved to play a role in that victory. One million Americans living with Parkinson's want to beat this disease. It is a constant balancing act. Too little medicine causes tremors and stiffness. Too much medicine produces uncontrollable movement and slurring. And far too often, Parkinson's patients wait and wait, as I am right now, for the medicines to kick in. <coughs> New investigational therapies have helped some people. With the help of daily medication and selective exertion, I can still perform my job in my case, in a very public arena. I can still help out with the daily tasks and rituals involved in home life. But I don't kid myself. That will change. Physical and mental exhaustion will become more and more of a factor, as will increased rigidity, tremor, and dyskinesia. I can expect in my 40s to face challenges most won't expect until their 70s or 80s, if ever. But with your help, and if we all do everything we can to eradicate this, this disease, in my 50s, I'll be dancing at my children's weddings. And mine will be one of millions of happy stories. Thank you for your time and attention.